Hello YouTube, Colbot Forever here, bringing you another video, this time on a script called Sonic. This is for Colbot, and this will actually stand alone as its own script and its own copy of Colbot, so you don't need to integrate this into an existing Colbot installation. It works on its own, it's going to have its own folder, and it's going to work independently. Now, before I go any further, I want to make sure that you guys install these two dependencies, and that is Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 the x86 version and also I would highly recommend you download the 2008 version and also that's going to be the x86 all the links will be down in the description below and lastly Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0 or higher if you're using Windows 10 I'm almost positive that this comes included however click it download it and try to install it anyway just to make absolutely sure so that we can avoid problems in the future once you've done that let me explain what this actually does this script is for starting at level 1 and moving all the way to level 99 if you let it run long enough. It's going to pick up items, it's going to do all your stats, your skills, your waypoints, all that stuff is taken care of by the program itself and that way you can do this at the beginning of ladder or even if you're not playing ladder and you're just playing on Battle.net and you just want to go in and have it level up a character for you, this is actually quite possible with this program. It will do everything you need and it will probably take quite a while as it's not particularly efficient. As I've said in older videos, Colbot without teleport is kind of iffy. And last but not least, so far from what I see, this only works with a Blizzard Sorceress. It is going to create a Sorceress, and that Sorceress will be a Blizzard Sorceress. So keep all that in mind, and let's move forward with the installation. So the first thing we're going to want to do is click the clone or download from the GitHub link, download the zip, and extract it into whichever folder you wish. I named my folder Sonic and here are the contents. And then before we go into the settings and how to set this up, we need to right click on d2bot.exe or if you don't have the extensions on Windows turned on, it'll just say d2bot. Go into compatibility, click run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 and run this as administrator. Then you're going to hit apply and you're going to hit OK. Next we need to go into d2vs, Colbot, Libs, and then finally into Sonic. And last but not least, settings. And this is where we're going to set up what we want our character name to be, which realm it's going to be on, whether or not it's going to be ladder, if it's going to be an expansion character, etc., etc. So the profile I believe you can leave on all, but I'm going to turn mine to Sonic, which is actually the default profile when you download this. If you want to make your own profile, just make sure that you put in the correct name for the profile name. Make sure that it's case sensitive as well. The account name, you can name it whatever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. Account name, let's do Dark Sonic. And then password, I'll leave as the original password because I don't care. And the character name will also be Dark Sonic. This is where we need to change the realm. If you don't want Europe, you can plug in US East or Asia or whatever it is that you like best. Ladder, I'm going to leave true. Expansion, true. Hardcore, no. And that is going to be all we need to do for this particular example. If you want to change any of these, just pay attention to what they are. If you don't want ladder, you would put false here. And I think most of you probably understand how to do that, but I thought I'd mention it just in case. So file save, close this out. We need to back up to the original location in the folder that we extracted for d2bot.exe. And now we're going to click on it. And it should run as admin if you selected that option. And then we need to go into our profile that we just created. And if you didn't create a profile before that, that's fine. It doesn't matter because, as I said, the Sonic profile is the original one there. So if you just follow what I did in the video, you'll be fine. I'm going to put the no sound parameter in here because I don't want sound to be turned on. If you like the sound to be turned on, feel free to leave that blank. You don't need to put that in. Our game path needs to be our game.exe in our Diablo 2 folder. Yes, this needs to be an official copy of Diablo 2 updated to version 1.14d. Our entry script, we can leave it as d2botsonic.dbj. And finally, our key list. If you installed Diablo 2 with a non-working CD key for Battle.net, you are going to need to add a key to the Colbot. To do this, I have a video already done for that. I will leave it, again, in the description so that you can see how to do it. It's the exact same process as how you do it with normal Colbot. There's no differences whatsoever. So just go to that video, take a look at that, follow it if you need to. And if you don't, let's move forward. For my purposes here, I'm going to click the visible button so that you guys can actually see 
how this works and how it goes through and does everything for you so that you understand how it works and you can see it actually visually being done. And the reason I didn't change anything over here other than, well, I didn't even change the profile name, I just left it as standard, but the reason I didn't change any of this is it's going to completely ignore everything that's over here and just do what you put in the settings. Now the game name and info, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't actually know where that's stored for this. If somebody does know how to change the game name and password, please leave that below in the, or excuse me, in the comments so that other people can do that. Personally, I don't really care what the game name and passwords are because this character is leveling up by itself. It can only be used by itself and therefore, to me, it doesn't really make any difference what the game names and passwords are. Last but not least, we're going to hit apply, hit OK, and then we can start it. So that's it, guys. That's the end of the video. Please like and subscribe as usual if you haven't already. I hope you have a good one and take a look at the demo of how this works.